What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we're going to be trying to fix an original Xbox disk drive. Now, I took this Xbox apart in one of my previous videos, and um, the disk drive on it was completely faulty, and I just thought I'd save that for another video, because I know quite a few people have problems with their disk drive on their original Xbox. So this one has kind of got two faults of it. Well, I'm guessing anyway. It doesn't open, so when I press the eject button to try and open it, uh, completely nothing, and it doesn't really seem to have any power to it now I don't know if I've got that wrong but I'm going to show you guys what it does so you can kind of see what's wrong with it so let me just go and power on my Xbox as you can see it powers on normally and um, if I just wait maybe about 30 seconds and then if I go to try and like open up the disk drive it literally just doesn't open and I don't know why it does this um, I've got some games to test if I do manage to fix it but I'm not quite sure this video is just going to be a trying to fix we can see what happens so let's see let's press the button and this is what happens the um, button flashes and the disk tray just doesn't open at all it doesn't even seem to attempt to open which is a bit strange um, but what I think I can do to fix it is maybe take it apart dust it out normally if you take these things apart you know you can sometimes kind of like change something and you know it might work um, I'm also going to replace the rubber band and just clean it up a bit that could also be an issue but yeah I don't know why this disk drive just doesn't open the condition of it is very good I did remove the warranty sticker so no one else has opened it so yeah I don't know what's wrong with it but we're gonna try and fix it in this video so the first thing we need to do is get the tools ready to try and fix this thing and if you guys don't know how to take yours out of your Xbox, obviously mine is already taken out so I can try to fix it. Um, I will leave a link to that video in the description. I already have another video where I removed this drive. But um, these are the tools I'm going to use. So I've just got your normal Phillips head screwdriver. I've got a swab, this is so I can clean the laser. And I also have a paper clip which I've kind of bent out. Now if you bend it out in a straight line like this, um, it's actually very easy to open up the disc tray to see if there's anything stuck inside of it. So let's just do that to start off with. Who knows, there could be a disc or something jammed inside of here um, that's basically causing the problem. So what you want to do is look between the X and the O um, of the Xbox logo and there's going to be a slight gap in here. That is where we're going to enter in our paper clip and just push on it and the tray should actually eject. So obviously we're just going to open it and there doesn't seem to be anything blocking it. As you can see, it moves fine, the gears seem to work. It does have a bit of a weird noise, but that should be normal. Um, the band looks very dusty, and it kind of looks like it's fallen off and been put back on. Yeah, it doesn't really look right, and um, yeah, that really needs a clean. That is incredibly dusty. That could be the problem, but I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take it apart. There is actually a warranty sticker, which I did remove, um, so I know nobody else has actually opened this, so, Hmm, possibility I could fix it. I don't know. Let's take all of these four screws off and then we can take it apart. Okay, so that is all four screws undone. We can now just remove them. And um, you want to look after your screws. You don't want to put them anywhere um, where it should get lost. And they're very long. They look exactly like this. So I'm just going to take all of mine out. And then what we can do is actually just take the casing apart. So what we're going to do here is just lift up the casing, just gently, just like that. There shouldn't be anything attached on the top, and we can just put this to the side. And um, yeah, there's actually loads of dust in here. I wonder how all of that dust got stuck up the side. Um, the tray, it should move. We should be able to open it. If you can't, what you can do is you can just use the tool again at the front to kind of unstick it. Okay, so we just use the eject tool again so we can slide the tray out. And I don't think there's any kind of issue. To be honest, it looks pretty good. I reckon it could be to do with the band right here. Um, sometimes the band can be misshaped a bit. Let's see. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. It's not a perfect circle. Uh, what I might do is adjust the band again. I might dust it. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and dust it out because it's actually got hair in it and everything. How strange. I never thought a disk drive would be this dusty inside. So let's dust it out. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. Of course, we've always got the swab to just to, you know, clean the laser a bit. Make sure that hasn't got any dust on there. Uh, but to be honest, it looks good. I can't really see why it's not opening. Like, I can't see what's wrong with it. I've seen a lot worse disk drives than this that actually turn on. 
Okay, so I'm about to try some compressed air, and I'm just going to kind of get rid of all of this dust. I don't know if this is going to fix it, or if it's going to break it, but I guess we can find out. Um, but yeah, as I said, I can't really see what's wrong with it, apart from the dust. I mean, I can try and clean the band up as well, or maybe I could buy a new band off eBay. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it looks really, really clean inside. So I can't work out why um, it's not opening or getting any power at all, unless it's a motherboard issue, but I really hope it isn't. But anyway, let's just go and dust it out, and then um, we can see if we can get it working or not. So I managed to pick up some dust on the clogs at the front, um, but I'm pretty sure I've got most of the dust now. I've also taken the band off and I also gave it a clean. Um, I did see another video on YouTube where the band, uh, this guy was fixing one, and the band was like really warped like that. But as you can see, mine is pretty much a perfect circle, so I can't really see a problem with it. So let's put it back on. I guess we can try it. It doesn't really feel like I've done much, but I guess we can see if it works. Now one thing you don't want to do is put it on twisted. As you can see, I just put it on then, and um, it kind of twisted. So that means I've got to try and do it again. Um, this time I'm going to try it on the bigger part, and then try and hook it over the smaller part. But if you ended up twisting it, um, then it will just have problems anyway. So you want the band to be perfectly um, stretched across these two. Okay, so that should be okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put it back together and then we can see if it actually works. Uh, before you put the top piece of metal on, make sure it's just closed and then we can go and put it on. So that is the drive put back together. Also make sure the metal is overlapping like this and I also put all the screws back in. Now I don't know if this is going to work but it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So let's go and put it into my Xbox. Let's boot on the Xbox and let's see does it actually work or is it completely dead. Okay, so I would recommend putting your Xbox back together. If you want to test it like while it's apart, you can do that. I'm just going to put mine back together anyway um, because I want it back together. But yeah, hopefully the um, disk drive should be working. Hopefully the Xbox turns on, so let's just test it. There you go, it boots up and... Oh, I've never heard it do that noise before. Was that the disk drive making that noise or...? I don't know, but let's just try it. Uh, I'm just going to wait about 30 seconds, and then I can go ahead and open up the tray. And, oh, it does actually work. Wow. So I wonder what I did to actually get that working. We're just taking it apart. I maybe wonder the wires, wires was loose on the motherboard. I don't know. But um, I'm just going to test it a bit. Yeah, it is making a few strange noises, I admit, but it seems to be opening now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try a game. i got two games just in case. i got Halo, the original one, and i also got Halo 2. And this is actually the Steelbook Edition. I think that looks pretty cool in the back. Let's try Halo 1. Um, as I said, I hope the laser um, is working and it actually reads games. But I guess we can try it and just see what happens. So let's take out Halo. Let's put it in. Um, I'll switch onto my TV in a second so you guys can see it. Let's just put Halo in there. And... I guess that's the reading noise. I mean, I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do is switch over to my TV, and um, who knows, it might actually be working. So there you go, guys. It actually seems to be working. Obviously, I just test it out a bit with the controller. Um, it looks like it's letting me create a new account. Um, but yeah, if you ask me exactly what I did to fix this, um, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know. I literally opened it. I cleaned the laser. I cleaned up the band. Um, I did dust it out quite a bit. I was going to take it apart further, um, but I didn't see a point because it literally looked brand new. Now, I did notice when I was taking it out, um, the cables were a bit dodgy on the motherboard. So I don't know if the power cable was disconnected and um, that's the reason why um, but yeah I don't know and now it seems to work so my best advice is to just take it out take it apart clean it put it back in if it's still not working you're probably going to have some kind of like internal fault of the motherboard on it and I've no idea how to fix that. Okay, so I did just get an error here. It says there's a problem with the disk you're using. It may be dirty or damaged. Um, so there you go, it could still be faulty. Um, I don't think the disk is dirty. I might just have a quick look. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't fix it and I don't know. I'm just gonna take a look at the disk anyway. So here is the disc. Now it has got a lot of scratches on it so that could be the issue. Um, I've never really run into an error like that before um, but it seems to be working anyway. It was better than what it did um, previous to you know taking it apart. So that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.